Andrew and Todd's Winnebago. More forward progress. So just torqued down our oil pump with the gasket. Always put the gasket. Some guys do, some guys don't. Always put the gasket. Put a brand new pickup on. Got it on there very, very tight by hand. And then once we torqued our pump, cranked it down until it is level. So when the bottom of the pan goes on, it'll be at the very bottom. Next step, what I always do is I pull the cover bolts off and I fill this cavity with assembly lube, which I will show you right Filled now. Filled our pump with assembly lube. So when we go to prime the oil system, we'll have a little extra suck. And that assembly lube also will get pumped through which will help protect our bearings and all that good stuff while we're priming. So now we're gonna put our cover back. And then we'll put our little bolts in, which get torqued to 95 inch pounds. So we got our pan on. I'm gonna start putting oil in. First things first, even though it's full roller, we're still gonna put the Lucas sink additive in it. Get this baby ready. I'm gonna put some oil in. I'm going to prime the oil system before we put the intake manifold on. That way we can watch all of our lifters. We can actually turn her over a little bit by hand. Make sure everything is as it should. And then we'll put on our manifold start masking and getting ready to paint. We're also gonna put on our balancer and our factory pointer. I'm just gonna go there. Then this baby will be ready. Poured our oil and our zinc additive. It's ready to go. Just gotta do our oil filter right here. And I need to plug off oil pressure sender location and then we can prime balancers going on got a nice 12 point ARP balancer bolt yes there's an ARP lube on the threads and a little ARP lube between the bolt head and the washer They're drawing this baby in Balancers on. Mm. All right, we are ready to prime the oil system. Got a nice plug in here where the oil pressure sender usually goes. Just got that baby plugged off. Got our pan on, we're full of oil. Got our filter adapter on with the plate with a fresh gasket and just a, it's a STP filter. We're just gonna cycle some oil around. So our next step is going to be priming. So most Mopars, small block and big block, use a 5 16 hex to run the oil pump drive. It's actually on the bottom of the pump drive that goes onto the gear, backside of the distributor. So when we prime, we just have like this really long, basically it's just a super long Allen wrench. We put that baby in like that. And we hook up our drill and we go to town. All right, so we're ready to prime. Remember the distributor. I need to go get my other battery. All right, fresh battery. Starting to flow oil. Down here on these lifters. Nothing yet up here at the rockers. Eight 
You have slow, look. I've been priming. Oh, of course the battery wants it. It's getting, it's overheating my little tiny drill. But we were starting to get oil up here at the rockers. Give it a minute. to the Milwaukee. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, our passenger side is definitely oiling. Wow. And now our driver's side is oiling. Woo! All right, so all of our oil system's primed. Everything's golden there. We've relashed our rockers, just made sure everything's good to go. Time to put in our intake manifold. So we got our gaskets down, ran our silicone. Never use the cork ends, they always leak. So got our silicone walls up so to speak manifold time 